In the vast tapestry of our galaxy of cosmos dotted with frozen gas giants, barren rocky worlds, and stretches of endless silence there lies one world that refuses to obey the rules of cosmic conformity. This world is K to 18b. It orbits a cold, red dwarf star located over 110 light years away in the constellation Leo. And despite its distance, this alien planet has become one of the most compelling candidates we've ever encountered for hosting life beyond Earth. For years, astronomers suspected something peculiar was occurring in its atmosphere. First came the detection of water vapor. Then, tantalizing hints of carbon-based molecules followed. But now, something even more extraordinary has emerged. Thanks to the unmatched capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, we can examine K-18b's atmosphere in unprecedented detail and what we're seeing can no longer be explained by chemistry alone. What the James Webb has uncovered has rippled through the scientific community like a shockwave. The clearest biosignatures we've ever recorded on an alien planet, these aren't just interesting anomalies, these are gases that, on Earth, can only be produced by life. We are no longer dealing in speculation, we are dealing in data, and for the first time, it seems we must seriously consider that we were never truly alone. k 18 b is known to scientists as a Hycean world, a hybrid between an ocean-covered planet and one with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. It is significantly larger than Earth, with a radius about 2.6 times greater and a mass nearly 8.6 times as large. But what makes it so uniquely promising is its location. k 18 b orbits on the very edge of its star's habitable zone, the region, where temperatures could allow liquid water to persist on the surface. The more we study it, the more it seems designed by nature to host life, this is not a dead, desolate, rock like Mars, nor is it a roiling gas giant like Jupiter. k 18 b is likely wrapped in a vast global ocean, shielded by a thick hydrogen atmosphere that keeps temperatures moderate and radiation at bay. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed that this atmosphere contains not just water vapor, but traces of carbon dioxide and methane, both crucial ingredients in the recipe for organic life. When these gases appear together in a hydrogen-rich environment, they begin to suggest something that's increasingly difficult to dismiss, the possible presence of biological processes. Beneath those alien waters dot then came the real shock. In 2025, data from Webb's mid-infrared instrument, its MRI spectrometer uncovered not just the presence of carbon-bearing molecules, but something far rarer and more compelling, dimethyl sulfide or DMS. On Earth, this compound is almost exclusively produced by living organisms, specifically marine phytoplankton. To detect DMS in an alien atmosphere is the chemical equivalent of finding oxygen on Mars. This is not just the language of chemistry anymore. This is biology knocking on the door. And the findings didn't end there. That same study also identified another rare molecule dimethyl disulfide, or DMDS. This more complex compound is similarly associated with microbial activity in Earth's oceans. The fact that these two molecules appear together in a water-rich, carbon-bearing, hydrogen-filled world has led scientists, like Cambridge astrophysicist Niku Modhu Sudden, to suggest something staggering, that k to one b may be teeming with microscopic alien life. These aren't the fever dreams of sci-fi enthusiasts, these are molecular signatures consistent, verified, and statistically significant enough that the global scientific community is beginning to treat. This is more than a possibility. It's becoming a serious likelihood dot. So what kind of life could be hiding on k 18 b If the DMS is indeed being produced by living organisms, the most straightforward explanation is that this world's oceans may be home to phytoplankton-like microorganisms these hypothetical life forms might float in the water, using the faint red light from their cool star to perform a kind of photosynthesis. But other scientists have dared to imagine more elaborate possibilities. Some propose the existence of filter-feeding creatures, perhaps similar to Earth's earliest multicellular life, drifting through nutrient-rich waters, absorbing organic material, and leaving behind chemical footprints 
A few theorists go even further. They envision exotic alien organisms perhaps akin to flying fish evolved to leap, or glide briefly through a dense, hydrogen-rich atmosphere in the planet's low gravity. If true, K218b might not just resemble Earth, it might reflect what? Earth was like billions of years ago, during the dawn of life in its ancient oceans. And just as Earth's earliest life forms slowly reshaped our planet's atmosphere over time, the same transformation might now be unfolding on this distant world. And we may be witnessing it live dot as these discoveries mount. A new and difficult debate is beginning to take shape. If k one b really is home to life, should humanity attempt to make contact? Some scientists and thinkers argue that we should absolutely not. Physicist Mark Buchanan warns that initiating communication with a possibly living biosphere risks exposing Earth to threats we cannot predict or worse, disturbing a fragile alien ecosystem with our interference. Ethical philosopher Dr. Anthony Milligan argues from a different angle, saying that we have a moral responsibility to exercise restraint not just for our own safety, but out of respect for any life that may already be thriving on k to dash 18 b dot others disagree. Harvard astrophysicist Ovi Loeb has suggested that if there's intelligent life capable of detecting us, they probably already have. And if they haven't responded yet, it's possible they simply don't find us interesting. Regardless of where one stands on this issue, the logistical reality remains. A signal from Earth would take 120 years to reach K to 18B, and another 120 years for a reply to return. For now, all we can do is wait. But the evidence continues to build. The molecules are there. The ocean is likely real. And the belief that we are alone in the universe is becoming harder to defend. With K218B now in the spotlight, the priorities of the world space agencies and private research firms are beginning to shift. While our current propulsion technologies make it impossible to reach this ocean world, within a human lifetime, plans are already underway to launch the next generation of observational tools. NASA is fast-tracking the development of Taki, missions, the Lovewire and Habix observatories, both designed to scan exoplanet atmospheres in even higher resolution and detect signs of life from afar. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency and China's CNSA are proposing their own deep space telescopes dedicated to long-term exoplanet monitoring DOT and the ambitions don't stop there. The idea of sending an actual probe, perhaps one driven by laser propulsion and ultralight solar sails is gaining momentum. The Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, funded by both private billionaires and global scientists, envisions launching microprobes at 20% the speed of light. If successful, such missions could reach K to 18B in about 500 years. A long wait by human standards but a blink of an eye on the cosmic timeline. We may never walk the shores of that alien ocean, but we might live to see the first signal sent by humans to a distant life-bearing world. The scientific implications of this discovery are enormous, but the cultural and philosophical consequences may be even more profound. Around the world, religious leaders, spiritual thinkers, and philosophers are beginning to grapple with the meaning of K-18b. Some see it as confirmation that life is not unique to Earth that we are part of a grand cosmic pattern, a universe wired not for silence, but for consciousness. Others react with fear or denial, warning that society is not prepared to handle such a paradigm shift. On social media, hashtags like hashtag k to alive and hashtag ocean world are trending globally. Documentaries and fictional retellings are already in production. Governments are issuing cautious statements acknowledging the importance of the data while urging scientific restraint. But beneath the surface of official rhetoric, something deeper is happening. A realization is settling over us. We are no longer just explorers gazing into the dark. Something out there may be watching back. And in this dawning awareness, something rare is occurring on Earth. A fleeting sense of global unity. Not out of fear, but out of awe. As excitement grows, another urgent conversation is emerging planetary protection, not for us but for them.
International bodies are now convening to establish guidelines for how we treat worlds like k 18 b Some scientists are proposing a new category of protected exoplanet exobiological sanctuaries. These would be planets where signs of life have been detected and which must be observed only from a distance to avoid the risk of contamination. Astrobiologist Dr. Monica Vidari argues passionately that if k 18 b has hosted life, for billions of years without us, we have no ethical right to intrude. Some proposals even go so far as to suggest an interstellar no-fly zone, placing strict controls on future probe trajectories and emissions. These aren't just precautionary measures, they represent a deeper shift in perspective. Just because we can observe doesn't mean we have the right to interfere. Because even if those alien oceans are silent today, even if the life that exists there is microbialid is still the first confirmed kin we've ever found in the vast expanse of the cosmos and if we are wise we will learn to listen before we act